Hi, my name is Jack Ratton. I'm from Bloom Space. We run a business incubator and co-working space with offices in London and in Great Malvern. What I found really fascinating is working with startups from different tech sectors at different stages in their life cycle. I think it's been fascinating seeing how so many parts of an accelerator program are applicable to businesses at different stages and fascinating to see which bits are better focused at different startups. I think that the format of the Beta Den has been a great format for this cohort for the nine months. I think there's a lot of exciting progress to be made with those companies and I think we've seen a lot of it this evening with their presentations. The amount of progress that those companies have made during that nine months is truly phenomenal. And it's really, really interesting, I think, to see how six different companies, all at different stages, have all made substantial progress in different ways over a nine month period. My greatest takeaway from tonight's presentations is that even though we had six companies, all tech companies, all in different fields, each of them was, has been able to make significant progress over the acceleration of nine months. One of the things I've taken away from this evening's presentations in particular is the depth of technology within Worcestershire. I think if you look at some of the deep tech startups that we've seen present tonight, you're talking about world-changing technologies, genuinely world-changing technologies, who have been accelerated through that nine-month process with a lot of help and support, and they've got a lot further forwards, a lot quicker than they would have done without it. And I think that to find that in Worcestershire and to be able to locate it, nurture it within the Beta Den in a nine-month programme is really, really cool. And I think it says a lot for the county and it says a lot for the region. And I think it will, it represents a really positive future for, for Worcestershire, for the Beta Den and for deep tech in this area generally. So in terms of a particular startup from the cohort, I think Worcester Scientific, who have got to the stage of actually manufacturing the minimal viable product and actually getting that close to a, a, a marketable solution, I think they are stand out to me as having the clearest, clearest pathway. I think they need to explore how their MVP works, make sure that it, the tech actually functions in the way think, they think it's going to. They then need to seek investment and that's definitely something I'm looking forward to helping them with.